The Cazador needs a windshield. All right, gentlemen, I do appreciate you joining me here this afternoon. A little cooler out than yesterday. We had a 70 degree day. Today we've got a 45 degree day. Uh, I went over to the dealership, picked up this windshield for the Cazador. Uh, interesting, the, the clear glass one was 300. Suddenly they don't have that after I've already called them. And then, um, but they did have a, a, a tinted one for $350. Uh, probably no instructions in here, so we're just going to have to figure it out. We'll figure out how the keepers attach to the cart. Alright, in the process of putting this windshield on, and I'm going to show you how the clips work here in a minute, which was our biggest struggle. And it took me a minute, whoa, it took me a minute to sort of figure that out. We'll do a close-up here shot, bring you in close, and I'll show you how they go. Okay, what really helped when, when I was over at the dealership and I bought this thing, uh, I actually photographed one of the machines that was laying on the, uh, that was out on the showroom floor, and at least got the orientation. So I knew that the thing went like this, right? But I didn't exactly know how the Velcro went. So here's how it's ultimately going to end up. You can see it's got this square part. It's got this little crossbar in it, right? Ultimately, that is going to end up in this slot in the in the windshield like that. Um, you're going to have to have help. Uh, this thing is just too unwieldy and too, I guess, delicate. You might say that's why we left all the uh, contact paper on it so that it, it didn't cause us problems. All right. So now I'm going to put this thing on. So come around the other side and look at this. All right, so what has to happen is, is that thing's got to feed up inside there. I don't know that I can do it from here. We've been doing it a different way because I need to grab that with a tool. It's just too, it's too rigid. So come around the other side. So let's start like this, right? Let's pull it out of its slot like that. I'm just going to feed it through like so. going to get a corner started if possible. This stuff's very rigid. I will say that it is really nice stuff, right? But it's it's not easy to deal with if that uh, if that tells you anything. So we need this guy to wrap around this center bar and not get any tools next to the glass. And by the way, I'm calling it glass. It's plastic. All right, that's good. That's exactly what we want. So now I'm going to take and feed this thing back through like this. I'm going to make that square piece on this plastic fit down inside that window. I'm just going to help it from the back side. Okay, that's good, but it's still loose. So come around the other side. Take this thing. Tension it up. Right? Just like that. Now, I'll worry about tucking stuff or possibly even cutting or, you know, all that. We just need to get it installed and stable. All right, we're gonna do another clip installation. This one is the sixth of uh, a total of six. And I'm not gonna do any dialogue and we're not gonna do a lot of bouncing around back and forth in case the other one that we did wasn't clear. All right, so I'm just gonna put it on and uh, you can hopefully work something out from there. Okay, so we know that this thing is gonna point in and this goes on the top of the windshield. So here goes. That's it. 
All right, we know it fits. We like what we see. This looks like an amazing tool. Uh, very, actually, very impressed and very surprised. Uh, nice job, guys. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is we leave for the beach in a week. I have to put this thing on a trailer. What I'm going to do is leave the contact paper on the windshield to protect it. We'll deinstall it. We will load the cart up on our trailer and take the drive down to the beach and reinstall the whole business then and get a final good look at it without the uh, paper on it. All right, so I guess it's been about a week since we uh, installed it and uh, we finally made it to our destination. So let's see what it looks like when it's finally installed. Looks amazing. It really does. Boy, so I'm really glad. Okay, this is just straight up scratch. Oh no, that's blue. <laughs> or it was scratched. This blue looks a lot like a scratch. Um, so, so it was 300 bucks for the clear. I called up, do you have a windshield? Yeah, we've got one. I roll up there and they say, oh, we don't have clear. It's tinted and it's going to be $50 more. So for 350 bucks, I don't like that kind of surprise when I walk into a place, but they did it to me and, you know, here we are. Um, I really like the, the tint. The tint looks really, really good. Maiden Beach Voyage? Maiden Beach Voyage. I like our windshield. Just got started. We had to fix a drink. I had to know. put four coats on. I didn't get stuck. No, I didn't get stuck. <laughs> That's awesome. We're not gonna call you. That windshield's dark. Clothes on February 6th, 5th, 6th. 
2021. That's dedication jumping in that water, man. Uh oh, traffic jam. Woo! Those are real UTVs. These are some serious pieces of equipment. They cost money, but they do a lot for you. the summer of 2020 you know we all know that 2020 was hell for everybody right but we had hurricane after hurricane and or tropical storm and here's what's going on here down at the beach right so they've done this restoration uh, here's a good example of it so they build that up to keep the surf back right and um, the, the like Laura in particular in particular just completely destroyed the dune by our house and then clearly the dune down here but it was the repetitive nature of these storms that kept coming through and, and beating these uh, uh, dunes to death, right? And basically, like, wash them away. So they're uh, mechanically and or manually putting them back into place. So this house behind me, it burned bad uh, about two months ago. Uh, this is about two miles away from our house. Um, a ceiling fan that was underneath the house evidently uh, caught fire, got hot, you know, whatever. And uh, somebody was actually uh, filming this with their telephone. And what had happened was <coughs> the guys uh, could not get down the, the, the single stair, uh, staircase. There was no way out. Some guy construction worker happened to be passing by he's in his uh, truck he's got his ladder he threw a ladder up and these guys over the railing came down and this thing just burned to the almost to the ground a ceiling fan did that 
install, uh, I'm going to leave the contact, then we will deinstall it. We'll put the trail. Is it running? <coughs> I think so. Okay. Is it? <coughs> yeah. All right, we're going to do another clip. In.